today we're on the e-scoot m100 um, it's a kind of mountain bike commuting sort of e-bike and uh, we're gonna test it out today now we're going downhill over here I've got a fully charged battery um, so we'll be able to see at the end of this uh, how many miles we'll do and uh, how much battery is left like I said I've got a full battery at the moment so uh, yeah so this bike uh, is a 250 watt motor um, completely UK legal on the roads uh, no throttle although if you want to buy it, put a throttle on this uh, I think it's about 25 pound for the throttle and uh, there is a wire there that you can uh, just wire it into hang on Yeah, so the only thing I miss really is when you come in at two junctions, I do miss the throttle because uh, that does assist you a lot for pulling out. But saying that, this bike's pretty light enough um, as it is for pulling out. Um, yeah, but the, there is a full throttle. Sorry, can't get my words out today. There is a throttle available. It's a thumb throttle for this and uh, 25 pound, something probably buy anyway for it, I reckon definitely used with a throttle yeah like I said completely UK legal no problems with this at all um, yeah so far so good I'm enjoying it um, the seat is pretty comfortable as well for for a mountain bike uh, sometimes you get them narrow horrible seats but this seems to be all right came down here last week when I was reviewing, reviewing the M20 and this road was closed. Let's go and have a look. I think it's still closed. Um, I'm not sure it either. They were filming The Witcher here for Netflix. Yes, yeah, so last week this uh, road was closed. Uh, they've been filming parts of The Witcher around Camberis. So, uh, all seems quiet this week. I think they've all gone.
Thanks. <laughs> no problem. You go ahead. All right, cheers. Thank you. Right, let's get onto the other bike track. I think we're gonna head on this bicycle track towards Hamberis. Uh, this is a nice little ride, and uh, like I said, if we see any football opportunities, we'll stop. Yeah, so I think this e-bike is perfect for commuting. Uh, it's just fantastic for just getting from A to B, zipping around. You can even go off-road with it. Yeah, I'm surprised at how uh, well it's built and comfortable it is. Really good. So I'm trying to look for things that are going to catch my eye for a little photo. You can tell autumn's coming in, the autumn colours are slowly sort of trying to break through here. Yeah, another thing good about this uh, e-bike, I love the uh, colour LCD display there. Yeah. Uh, it's probably one of the best ones I've seen so far for all the bikes that I've been doing. The, uh, that has nice colour. That's a nice LCD screen, I must say. So yeah, I think we're just going to head towards the lake, look around the trees there and uh, have a look for some photo opportunities. You can tell what's missing without the uh, throttle here. Every time you stop cycling, uh, it pulls back like it doesn't want to do anything. Uh, so the assist kicks in really when you start pedaling uh, with this bike. But, but it's done alright, I've been up a few hills, uh, obviously you're going to pedal but it does help you a lot, it's not that bad at all. Uh, and that's probably because it's not really a heavy bike, it's pretty light. quite surprised really how enjoyable this ride is I wasn't expecting it um, I thought it'd be a bit uncomfortable but this is quite fun actually and do you know what for the price of 600 pounds I think you're getting a pretty good e-bike over here definitely over here 
on the other side just by the lake here So yeah, here we go. This is the E-Scoot M100. Do you know that ride was really enjoyable? Um, really surprised with this bike. Really am. Um, like I said before, this LCD screen is colour. Uh, really impressed with that. Really like that a lot. Um, to switch the bike on, the uh, button, standby button here is... Here you switch it on. This is your up and down. It has five pedal assists, which is uh, unusual really, because usually you get about three pedal assists uh, speeds with uh, bikes like this, especially with a 250 watt motor, you get five on this one. Um, yeah, we've got front suspensions here. Uh, you can lock it. And the suspension's pretty good actually. Uh, I've not really felt bump, only feel bumps obviously, but not that much. Uh, the back seat here, you can uh, adjust it, take it off, whatever you want to do. Um, we've got a quick release front wheel there, if you want to pack it up small with a quick release. Um, I think what's good about this bike is that the battery's on the outside simply. Uh, it's good really, you can take the battery off and lighten the weight, lighten the weight of the bike. Especially if you're going to carry it on a back rack on the back of a car. Uh, you can take the battery off to reduce the weight or charge it. Um, when starting up, uh, you switch it on here and your charging port's there. You can also press this button here to see how much of a charge you actually have on the battery itself. Now, uh, it's got Shimano gears. It's got seven gears on this. Uh, we get a front lamp. No back lamp, but we do get a... Uh, little um, reflector on the back over here um, like I said 250 watt motor on the back there um, yeah and uh, I think these are puncher resistant tires um, so they're pretty good for off-road or whatever and of course the bell uh, that's the bell there for it um, so yeah uh, that's the M100 e scoot um, really impressed with it didn't think I would be but I am um, I just feel that it's well built and I think for 599 I think you're getting a you're getting a lot of your money's worth here for a bike um, like I said before you can do it it's not properly built for off-roading off but uh, it does the job pretty good and uh, for a commuting commuting bag, bike to sip you around everywhere here and there uh, this is perfect uh, like I said before, I'm quite um, shocked really of uh, how good this bike is and uh, for the price, it's pre built pretty well as well, so uh, yeah, very impressed. Do you know this scene over here has really caught my eye? Um, it probably wouldn't to others, but it has to me. Um, I just like these big boulder of rocks you see on the left of the frame here they just lead off over there uh, here you've got this little green dead tree here um, which sits comfortably in the center along with these rocks over here uh, like this slab that goes over here and this tree that really twisted kind of tree that just goes over where the lake comes in over here just goes over nicely sort of frames it uh, something about it catches me eye. Behind there in the sea, uh, in the sea, uh, in the scene, you can see these hills just behind the lake over there. Um, I don't know. It's just it just has these elements. Yes, it's rather messy, but uh, I don't know. There's something about it uh, that's caught me eye. So I'm going to take an image of this uh, scene 
right behind me over here uh, because it's caught my eye. path down here. It'd be a nice little ride or everything's still green at the moment. You've got them little autumn colours trying to break through but we're not quite there yet. I reckon another month possibly probably a late autumn this year. But everything's a lot of green around, unfortunately. Gotta be a picture here. Gotta be. There's a couple of shots here. Um, I like that tree that's fallen, collapsed over there, and these sort of, I don't know what you call them, these bushy green right, uh, right there in the center. It almost feels like it's part of that tree. Um, I don't know, I think there's a shot here that I'm gonna go for um, with, the bushy thing there these sort of dead leaves on the floor bed adding a bit of color and that um, dead tree just going off in the background there um, something about that I like and uh, not too sure I also like this um, oh. I also like this tree over here that just arches over I've shot this before. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna get an image of this tree here arching over there. I like these gnarly twisted trees. Uh, they just have character, don't they? And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna take a couple of images here and if they're any good, I'll uh, pop them up now and then we're gonna head back home and uh, yeah, give you my final thoughts of this outing on the sea bike.
been a pretty good outing um, and I'm very surprised with this bike I've really enjoyed it and I like it uh, okay it's only 250 watt motor uh, that's 50 miles per hour completely legal but I've enjoyed it I think it's because the bike's so light it feels very practical um, I can go off-road with it easily in the woods there uh, so yeah I've enjoyed it uh, no noises coming off the bike, feels completely uh, built well, secure, I'm happy with it, really happy with it, it's been an enjoyable ride, so this is well worth its money I reckon, well worth its money, the Scoot M100. couple again on the bike they probably think I'm following them <laughs> I keep bumping into them I'm not following you <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> 